This video is brought to you by Trove, but more on that later. So over the years since I started trading and investing in the stock market, I have made a ton of mistakes and I believe it's only safe to say that I have had my fair share of experience that I would really love to share with you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have problems. There are stocks that I kind of regretted buying and some that I maybe I kind of went in too fast, maybe some that I bought in late. You know, there are a lot of mistakes like that that we make along the way while we're trying to learn something. And I just thought, why not just share with you some of the mistakes that I have personally made so I can at least help you jump over or scale through the mistakes without having to make them as well. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel as always if you are new here welcome to the channel my name is Harris Kari and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back on this channel we talk about personal finance and personal branding so if that sounds like something interesting to you go ahead and smash that red subscribe button right there so you can join the family and uh, let's carry on so as i mentioned in the intro over the years since i started investing and trading in the stock market which is about five years right now i have made a ton of mistakes that some of them i regret and some i am proud of making because you know most of the times mistakes are just kind of lessons you learn from your experience so i don't really see most of them as mistakes but as lessons that i have learned from my experience so without further ado let me just go ahead and let you in on the lessons that i have learned over the years so the first mistake that i am guilty of and i guess maybe not just me but a lot of people are is fomo fomo is awful if you don't know what FOMO means, FOMO is just an acronym for fear of missing out. So basically FOMO is just like when you're on the sideline and people are doing something and you just feel like, why am I not part of this? And you know, maybe in the stock market, people are just buying stocks, maybe like trading and buying, investing and everything. And you're just like, why am I not doing this thing? Like, you know, you feel left out. So you just decide to just jump in without knowing anything without any knowledge without anything in mind you're not ready for this but still you just dive in you know just to be part of it so as soon as you dive in that is when you actually notice that this might not actually be for you so the thing is it might be for you but you just jumped in like too early or not ready and on that topic i always advise people to look from deep within and understand whether if this really is for you or if maybe you're just feeling left out and you just want to be part of something so always try to understand if it's not for you it's not for you if it is for you you would actually know it is for you so take your time to understand it okay the second mistake that i have made also goes hand in hand with fomo but this is the lack of knowledge so you just jump into this thing without the knowledge of anything but actually somehow i'm kind of proud of myself for doing this because i actually jumped in without you know hesitating to like feel like i'm not ready or something like that so i just jumped in i'm that kind of person that just loves to learn from the inside or maybe with my own self you know with my own money and stuff like that so i jumped into stock market without any idea or maybe just a little bit of idea so but uh, along the way i kind of learned a lot i read a lot of blogs i read a lot of books i also went through a lot of uh, videos and stuff like that about stock market that's why i always advise people to do that as well because that is how i personally did and that is what helped me actually understand the stock market and also made me start creating videos and maybe trying to teach and share with people you know as well to understand a little bit or maybe more about the stock market so for that i would really advise you to go into books you know read a lot of books about stock market about personal finance you know they kind of expand your whole horizon of your head because maybe you might be thinking with a limited mindset but as you read more books and as you like you know check more blogs and you read a lot about it and maybe you ask a lot of questions about it you begin to understand and also expand your scope of understanding of the whole thing not just stock market but any other thing that you might want to learn and also on the same note i always advise people not to follow people's forecast about stocks rising or falling blindly you know actually that's why i always advise people to learn to understand it not just follow people blindly because if you just follow blindly you end up losing as that person lose and that person might actually be affording to lose like a thousand dollars and not be depressed or not be in a problem but you might actually follow that person and uh, you just invested your hundred dollars or maybe your ten dollars who knows and uh, at the end of the day something happens and you lose that entire money maybe you even invested with something that you might be needing you know within some months so that really is not the way to go i would really advise you to always kind of learn and understand it even if someone forecasts something also check try and see if you could understand you know a thing or two about the stock before you go into it but if you trust it 
go ahead just go ahead and buy so i just want you to always think twice before you do something don't just jump in blindly always try and understand why or what you are going into and now that we've talked about the knowledge i would expect that you have the knowledge right now so you're moving into the stock market the next mistake that i have made a lot of times is abrupt or clueless purchases so i just go ahead maybe just because i love a company i just go ahead and buy the stock of that company maybe if let's say i don't want to call any company but maybe i love a company i just go in there and they have stocks and maybe i could actually afford the stock i just go ahead and buy like three or five of that stock and uh, you know along the way i don't even know what the financials are i don't i didn't even know like you know things go up and down like you know abruptly i'll just go ahead buy this yeah i love this company i know they will actually grow or something like that and it just start dipping so as they dip you know i always hear people say buy the dip buy the dip i always go ahead buy the dip buy the dip and we keep on dipping and you know at the end of the day deeper life emotional damn it so i always love to tell people like you know go through the financials there are actually ways that you could actually understand how stocks work and how they move so a lot of people always try to you know claim that they know everything but actually even i myself i don't really know anything so that's why i really advise you to go ahead and learn at the end of the day you might even actually understand this more than me and be the one teaching me so <laughs> i'd really advise you to go ahead learn and learn and also read about these things because there are actually two ways that most people believe you know you can be able to understand whether if a stock is good or not or maybe how well it will work or how well it will go it will grow and stuff like that and uh, these ways are like the qualitative and the quantitative way the qualitative is more of the financials you know the numbers you know checking out how much this company has been trading for or maybe how much the stock has been falling or growing within time and stuff like that and the second one the qualitative one is more of the brand image so how well is the brand perceived how well are they when it comes to promise do they keep their promises do they like you know kind of lie to their customers and uh, you know all these kind of things just try to understand read through all of them i will try my best to just create videos around that even though i know it might take time before i do that because i have a lot of things <laughs> so anyway i'll try my best to do that as well so now that you've read and understood how to buy or maybe which stock to buy the next mistake that i have made is panic sale so when it comes to selling as i said the stock marketing gurus online would tell you that this stock is about to fall this stock is about to grow and you just go ahead and you know panic sell the whole stock that you have because you believe that the stock would actually fall and you would lose money so most of the time you just go ahead and sell the stock but maybe maybe the stock was just going to dip a little bit and actually rise higher than you were expecting or higher than it was before and you see if you sell that stock you actually lost that opportunity to gain more money but maybe you know it depends on uh which app you use and it depends on where you actually buy or sell the stock you could actually decide to just you know buy more or maybe like as you sell you know if you see the uh chances of it rising you could actually buy again but most apps don't really allow you to like buy and sell instantly so you would have to wait for some days or maybe some hours for you to do that and as you wait you know stocks actually move they're really volatile so they just rise and fall within some seconds and within some minutes so <laughs> you might actually lose that opportunity to get more than you are supposed to get and now the last one which a lot of people make this mistake and i am also guilty of making this mistake several times you know when i started is investing with urgent funds so let me try and explain this by urgent funds, I mean money that you might be needing or wanting to use within the next three to six months. You know, it's always advisable to use money that you might not be needing, money that you set aside, you know, that you won't be needing in the next three to six months to invest in the stock market because if you use the money that maybe you instantly need or maybe some kind of your school fees or something like that, that people always take the risk of using to invest, at the end of the day, if you lose that money, you would you know get depressed or stuff like that but always try as much as possible to always kind of segment some part of your money that you want to invest in this and that is why i always talk about the 50 30 20 rule if you have an income maybe if you have a salary you could actually divide it into three 50 30 and 20. i actually have a video where i explain the whole of that so i would actually link that video you know, top here i'm not even sure which side but yeah i'll link the video in the description as well so you could go ahead and understand this 50 30 20 rule even more and most of the times people think that you need a bulk of money like a hundred dollars a thousand dollars like a hundred thousand dollars start investing in the stock market but this is where the sponsors of this video trove comes in 
So Trove is a stock marketing app company that actually helps you invest or start investing in penny stocks. That is being able to buy stocks in fractions. You don't have to have the whole money, the entire maybe thousand dollars or maybe hundred dollars to buy a specific stock that you want to buy. You could actually buy just a fraction of that stock. You know, if you have just like two dollars, five dollars, you could actually use that five dollars to buy a fraction of that stock and you actually own a stock with that company as you do that and one beautiful thing i love about trove is that it has a demo account that you could actually use to practice how to buy and sell you know if you're uh, scared of using your own money you could actually just try the demo account it has like a one million narrow one million dollars you know in your demo account it's not real money it's just for you to practice so you can be able to go ahead and you know go through the stock market you know check all the stocks that you want to buy stocks of companies you love so you just go ahead and see See, you know how they're rising how they're falling try buying with your demo account and just see you know how well you could actually gain something from your demo account so when you do that when you're ready to start investing you could actually just deposit your money into trove it's very easy to do that once you do that you could actually start buying and selling stocks you know that's us stocks chinese stocks and every other stock nigerian stocks as well so if you're ready to try this app, I'll have my link in the description for you to just click and download or maybe just copy my referral code and just paste it in the referral code section on the form while you're registering. And Trove will present you with free five stocks of either Longote Sugar or GT Bank. And by that, you have already started investing or trading in the stock market. So how easy is that, guys? So just go ahead and let me know in the comment sections what you think about the stock market and what you think about this video. If it really helped you, let me know in the comment sections. And I also love to know what you want me to explain more for you so you could understand it even better and with that i really appreciate you guys watching this video till the end if you really watch till this part of the video you are the main g and uh, i am starting a membership program right now so please if you are ready or maybe if you want to join my membership i would leave the link in the description so you can be able to just click on it and register as a member of my circles actually have weekly one-on-one -on -one sessions with all of you guys you know everyone in the membership and also i share more insights of things that i actually do and i share a lot of knowledge there so if you're really ready for that just go ahead and let me know click on the link in the description and join the membership and as always guys go ahead and create but don't hate i'll see you guys in the very next video peace